I feel like sometimes people want to do something above and beyond. Then, you know, that's when the older folks step in, like, oh, no, that's fuck on mine. No, you're going to bring shame into the family or whatever. There's always going to be a talk. Like, I, I feel like it's it's natural for the talk is just like, Yeah, I just feel like that's it's it's um um that's something that's been going on. Like, if somebody was to say they want to be a movie star or or something else, you know, rather than just become a doctor or a lawyer or whatever, I feel like their mindset is just set on school and whatever you can um whatever you can come out of with uh, from college, especially. Yeah. But you now anything you know, like anything out of that. I feel like they're just like, nah, 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 I want you to do this. I want you to be a nurse. I feel like that, yeah, sorry. I'm I'm beating around the bushes to get to my answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's good. No, you're good, you're good. But there you go. I feel like um, when they want you to do what they expect you, they, you know, but I feel oh, like. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want you to be a nurse. I want you to be a doctor. I want you to be a police. But they don't really ask you what do you what do you want you know yeah what do you want for your future there yeah. you go <laughs> did that <laughs> did that did that uh you know did, did that happen to you yeah because you know, i wanted to play sports but my mom never really like take us to practices or anything i wanted to be i wanted to play soccer <laughs> i wanted yeah. to again soccer and um also uh rugby I used to play rugby in high school. Boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it. The thing about it. Uh, yeah, I used to play rugby. That's my mom. I was my mom was like, you know, that's that's a dangerous sport. Mm -hmm. Girls shouldn't be playing rugby. That's still that's still her belief until today. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I know uh you know, since we probably, you know, since we probably, we talk, we're talking about doing things that kind of outside the norm of what they expect you to be. Uh, I know you do a lot of TikToks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, uh, if you, if you guys don't know, you know, she, you know, if you're watching this, you know, she's a famous TikTok star within our, <laughs> within our Polynesian community. You should definitely check it out on Telephone. You got some good content. <laughs> You got some good, you know, very positive, some very positive cultural. I love, I love your stuff because you know, you know, you rep, you rep Donga hard. Thank you. Mate <laughs> mate Donga. Tease up, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, did you uh, do you face uh, what do you face a lot of uh, backlash or criticism for doing that uh, from your own circle, from your own friends and family, from being out there on TikTok? I um. I know my mom sometimes don't. She, she would comment on my things, you know. She would say, like, I'm out here preaching and you know, doing live, trying to spread the word, and you're over here doing me I love BC. Take that though, you know. But, yeah. you know, I up and just like leave it up. But, um, and since I've been doing TikTok, I, I, I realized a lot of my, like, I see a lot of, a lot of my friends that are, you know, think. I suppose um, true color. Yeah. And showed me that just shows me who's there, who's being um, supportive. My yeah. husband, I mean, my husband cracks up all the time. He's like, I see, yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> I love making people laugh and you know some of my friends they don't say nothing even my close like people that I thought they're closer to me yeah family family members they used to I used to grow up with them none I never see none of them mention anything or even like reach out to me like hey wow I see what you're doing you know and it's fine you know I get it some people have they like certain stuff like I think I would have I would have appreciated if they just give me a little feedback, you know. Yeah. If you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. So I want to ask, what what made you uh, what made you get into it though? You know, and I, I want to talk about that. What made you get into TikTok? Gosh, <laughs> long story short, I started a YouTube with my family. Um, okay. I was inspired with, by the Ace family. They started off really small. So I and I like I'm I'm the type of person I like to pull pranks on people. So yeah. I like. I like to put pranks on my husband. <laughs> my oh man! Started YouTube and then, you know, it it was okay. You know, I see a few people supporting, but then TikTok came around. TikTok. Yeah. Around and I like the fact that you can do everything on there, and it's just a fifteen seconds for one minute. Yeah. So I started doing it at work, and then. From work, I did some at home, started doing the tongue in one, and some people liked it. I was like, wow, I think I'm doing something here. Maybe I should keep up. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like, I think my video started getting big when I started doing stuff with my coworkers. Because mm -hmm. it, and it was super slow. Just know that everyone <laughs> it was super slow. <laughs> TikTok, I worked. <laughs> Just cutting off of work. <laughs> Not that we just out of nowhere and go and start filming while everybody's working. Not <laughs> no the airport, and we were grateful to still be able to work. So I that's when the idea came. We're like, hey, um, maybe we should start doing our little own little you know, worker thing and and put people put smile on people's face, you know. Yeah. And from there, I feel like now. Uh, no, a lot of people know me as the airport girl. <laughs> out of that, I want to get out of that. Known as the Tommy girl, you know, like yeah, that's the Tommy girl. She works at the airport. <laughs> the Tommy yeah. girl from the airport. 